What was it like working at Mondavi back then? He was, he was a fairly, he had just split from the family. He'd been setting up his own winery. I mean, it must have been a fairly ambitious place to be. I was becoming part of his family. And once in a while, he would make breakfast, and have breakfast together. And then he set up tasting of the wines, American and French, comparison. Because he had the idea that someday, because in Napa Valley we have good soil, good climate, good varieties, we can make wine as good as French. However, it happened that his student, he wrote in that book up there, uh, forward to the book, uh, that was my dream to make wine as good as French. But my student, my Gergich and Vora Minarski, made wine not as good as French, but better than French. That was for me a uh, paradise real paradise and, and victory that is not possible to describe how I felt about it. And t tell us a little bit about the Paris tasting and how that came about. Paris tasting was having tremendous impact not on Napa Valley, but on the whole world. First, because French domine was domineering in quality of wines. This was the first time that somebody has broken that crust, moved it in, and made wine better than they did. They sold their wine, explaining that only French soil can make fine wines. And so they've been selling this wine terroir. That's the soil, that's the climate, that's all the French terroir. And always in their pro pro propaganda for marketing was French soil, not French wine, but French soil. Because nobody in the world has soil like French. When Napa Valley soil came to Paris and beat them up, their argument is gone. So it gave freedom to everybody thinks that they might have a soil like Napa Valley that can make wine better than French. But that was a historical moment. And of course, it has put Chateau Montalina on the map, has put Napa Valley on the map, has put California on the map, and has helped many other uh, countries that realized that they might have a soil like the French. And so the Australia started to plant more wine. Chile, Argentina, uh, even in Croatia, now they have so much wine. 